I love him. I think he's fabulous. I think all these rich athletes ought to do the same thing. Take take note from Kevin Durant. He's giving back to his community. Yeah. This is Kevin Durant's favorite restaurant. If he could come out, I could come out and do better just like he can. So that's the big deal for everybody. Yeah, barbershop. Yeah, that's cute. What's up? You should come in here. Little long arm Lincoln kid. <laughs> Brother was in here yesterday. You know, we were right here in the nation's capital. You know, there's so many things going on around here that they don't need to see. This one thing that they should see, you know, is Kevin. Sharing a border with Washington, D.C., Prince George's County is a vast and diverse collection of communities. Some wealthy, Others, some of the poorest and most violent in Maryland. People that I've seen every single day didn't make the college or uh, didn't do anything, didn't leave the area, you know. So I was just seeing one certain thing, just certain pattern. So it was kind of, it was tough feeling like I wanted to move and get out and expand and stretch my wings, but not knowing how to. The challenges were keeping them away from the uh, drug infested areas. And, and actually, we lived in some of them there would be gunshots, and we would go hide in our homes because you just never knew. It was, a, it was a real issue. There were more than 60 homicides in PG County in 2018 where crime can shape children's fears and their memories, as it has for 15-year-old Matthias Anthony. Every day I get that speech. <laughs> you gonna keep hearing it. Till you graduate high school and college. And college. Right. I have five siblings. I'm the middle child. The sad face. Where were you going? <laughs> when I watch the news and I see that little kids are still dying just from walking across the street, and this is really heartbreaking. Two years ago, it was a murder that happened at the playground. Somebody murdered the dude in the car and burned his body and put him behind a trash can. I just know that this world is really crazy and it gets crazier every day and worse every day. Dahlia Davis lives 40 minutes away in a different part of PG County. But like Matthias, she too is trying to find her best path forward. My grandpa was in the army. My mom was in the army at one point, and now my dad's in the navy too. So like, I just, I grew up with the military. I'm a military kid. I know I moved a lot in elementary school because I went to like five different elementary schools. It's hard to plan according to like your dreams and stuff when you're in the military because you never know where you're gonna be or what the circumstances are gonna be in the future. Their story is his story. They are him. <laughs> they are um, the best of him. They are watching him and learning from him what it means to be successful from this community. On a winter day across from Suitland High School, Durant stepped inside what he built, understanding who he built it for. This is incredible, man. When you looked in their faces, what did you see? Kids with so much time ahead of them, you know, so much opportunity to figure out what it is that you love, you know, and just to have people that are on that same path and that same journey as you, it just builds up so much character. And, uh, it's amazing that, you know, I can provide that. College track at the Durant Center opened in January an after-school haven where students will receive the support and tools they need not only to reach college, but to graduate. 69 students from nearby Suitland High School were selected for the center's inaugural class, funded by a 10-year, $10 million donation from Durant. A commitment and an investment in them from him.
someone who changed the course of his family. I'm somewhat speechless, because, you know, it's my son. It's my son. Pushing the culture forward, pushing my vision forward. I appreciate it. All the students and families, are, it's going to be crazy to say this, right? My class of 2026. <laughs> you know, this is the start of something, but I'm looking for this to sustain for a while. So um, enjoy this. It might have my name on the side of the building or our name on the side of the building, but it's your home. So enjoy it. Make your chores and the future starts here. So I'm excited about this, thanks a lot. She's gonna to go to college one day and it's, it's just an amazing opportunity to see my daughter graduate from, you know, even high school. I didn't graduate from high school. She's three years away from that. I'm just proud. To me, it's everything. When he was growing up, you know, he had struggles in life. So I think he gave back so we don't have to have as many struggles in life. Coming from where we come from, you have dreams and you have hopes, but you never think it would, uh, it would amount to something like this. You never think. And that's why I tell these kids and I tell people that I encounter that you cannot quit. Because if Kevin would have quit, these children's lives would have been different.